Hey guys, welcome back to episode 3 of Scottish Living Let's Play. In the last episode, we had Maeve and Tommy staying with their grandparents for the weekend, while Aya and Archie were away celebrating their anniversary in a trip to Mount Kumaribi. On Sunday night, when Aya and Archie were supposed to pick up Maeve and Tommy, Jerry got a call that they had been involved in a terrible, terrible car accident. So here we are at the funeral, ready to celebrate the lives of Aya and Archie. So here we are, after the service, Molly is comforting Maeve uh, just a little bit. Probably not an appropriate time, but I would like to thank, I think it's Kawaii Stacy for this event mod which gives the day of grieving and all these interactions for grieving. So Jerry's just taking a little moment of solitude, trying to understand what's happened, trying to absorb it all. I think we'll leave him to it. <laughs> so Molly has always been the more maternal one, while Jerry's not always had the words, but I think Maeve is going to come chat to him and comfort him a little bit because she senses he's pretty sad, as you would be losing her, your only son and his wife. So Aya had very much become a part of the family. Her own parents lived really far away, so she didn't get to see them very often, and the Iversons just really kind of adopted her. This is tough for two different reasons. So it looks as though Molly needs to go to the toilet. I think we will let her. Uh, we did invite as well a lot of Aya and Archie's friends. So Archie knew Jay Huntington the second and Sergio Romeo from work and of course the beaters were their neighbours. So they became very, very close because they were both two young families uh, raising children. The Iversons being a little bit ahead in the fact that they had a child and a toddler, whereas Jismond has only really given birth. So her baby is probably a toddler now, actually. Oh, I don't think she should probably paint on this nice church floor, but I think she will hug her brother lovingly. Just to let her know that she's there for him, and I don't think Tommy really understands what's going on, but I'm sure he's going to remember this day for a very long time. So it looks as though Molly's taken a little moment outside uh, just to kind of catch her bearings. This is obviously so, so sad for her. So we are going to have Jerry comfort her. And I think she's going to let her guard down just a little bit and complain about the loss. Very unusual for Molly to complain, but as you would imagine as well, they are the sole caretakers now of Maeve and Tommy, and they sort of have to figure out how that dynamic's going to work. They've lived in retirement for a good few years now. Uh, they have a lot on their hands with the farm, but they love their grandkids, so of course it's not even a question. But yeah, there are some logistics to have to sort out in this situation. So Tommy, totally obliviously, <laughs> is playing with his Wabbit tablet. He kind of doesn't really know, he understands that it's pretty serious, but he's not sure why everyone seems to be so upset. And I guess the permanence of what's just happened. Oh no, it looks like everyone's getting really sick as well. So as usual, Jerry is acting the clown and having a bit of a play with Tommy to keep him distracted. 
and just to give Molly a little bit of a moment of reflection and peace and quiet. Great, so we've just arrived back at the farm. I'm not sure what Jismond is doing here. And unfortunately the farm is in a little bit of a state of disrepair. So we will have Molly or Grandma come fix that. And we will have Grandpa come serve dinner. It's because we are simple living, we don't have a lot of options. I think we will go just for some mac and cheese once again. Keep it pretty easy for the kids who are probably a little fussy. We don't want Maeve spoiling her dinner, so we'll come and have her get a little bit ready. Tommy isn't that hungry, so I think we will have him come use the potty and then just head to sleep. Olivia Kim Lewis would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? Maeve is definitely, definitely not in the mood and she will definitely be having a couple of days off school as well just to adjust and get used to life farm and of course get over the loss of her parents. Great, so Molly is just fixing the last windmill that seems to have broken in the terrible weather. Check if there's any upgrading. It does have the lightning rod. We might need to move towards the self-lubricating gearbox for the future. Handiness level 9 while well, she is on her way. And they're going to allow Jasminda to just stay around. Jasminda's only got the nicest thoughts at heart to help everyone out and make sure they're okay and that they're eating. But speaking of eating, I don't know where Grandpa put the food. <laughs> we will just grab out some leftovers. Maeve is already on it. She is not messing around which is fair enough and oh no grandma's not hungry so we will leave her but we will have her clean up a little bit and she will send Jasmine to home as well because I think everyone's just going to have a really really early night there's not much point in hanging out together I think they all just want a moment of, of total peace great so with that I think we will leave this episode here Thank you so much for joining me yet again in this Cottage Living Let's Play. Sorry if I ruined your day with such sad news around Aya and Archie. Once again, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy this episode and are enjoying this Cottage Living Let's Play. Thanks so much. Bye.